At a certain point, you move to nuance in Boston and try to apply this to a different problem. Can you talk about that problem a little bit and tell us a little bit what it is? Yeah, so the problem that we're trying to solve is using artificial intelligence within the, the radiology workflow. Um, so ultimately what they need to do to make more money for themselves is be faster, right? The radiologists are limited in a day in the money that they can make based on the time it takes for them to review something like an MRI, a CT scan, an X-ray. And, you know, in some cases they may overlook things. There may be things that were incidental findings that they were, they were looking for a lung nodule, but there happened to be an aortic aneurysm there as well. And so to some degree, we're helping with accuracy as well. Um, but it really is a productivity play and making them more efficient and really kind of honing in on that value of what people would call the machine, human, uh, machine learning human partnership. Um, you know, I think most people who are AI experts would agree that the, the place where we can unlock the most value right now with AI is the partnership between the human and the machine. And so we're using computer vision algorithms and neural networks to identify um, different diseases, as I mentioned, or you know, just different ailments within these medical images. And, and one of the problems that we, the bigger problem that we're trying to solve with this, this marketplace, and so as I mentioned, we're trying to build the AI marketplace for medical imaging applications, is because we, we, um, we, have, we have a software now that all radiologists are using, or a large percentage of the, the radiologists are using, it's about 70, 70 to 75 percent market penetration right now. And so we have this core system that we can basically integrate with all these different AI algorithms so that the radiologists in these hospitals themselves, if they want to try an algorithm, um, if they want to try 15 of them, they don't have to go and create integrations with 15 different algorithms. It's a very arduous process. So, you know, similar to like an iPhone, you know, you can just download all the apps you want and try them right there on your machine um, and run them on the different medical images and whatnot. So we're trying to just make it a very, very easy integration from I have an application, I have a technology, now how do I get that into the workflow of the, of the radiologist and, and the softwares that they're already using. Right now, uh, Nuance uh, sells a product called PowerScribe. And PowerScribe is a reporting tool that uses uh, speech-to-text technology. It's actually, if you guys have ever heard of Dragon, um, we're the company that owns that technology. And so when a radiologist is looking at an MRI, he's typically dictating text into the report and saying, there's a lung nodule in the, in the left lower lobe, right? However, with an AI algorithm, we can actually detect that automatically and generate text from that using natural language generation where the radiologist doesn't even have to speak. He just has to say, I accept this finding. So instead of him talking, it just goes, there it is, accept. And it also helps him jump to the part in the series because an MRI or a, a CT chest scan can have a hundred different images, right? And so if he has to go through every single image looking for a, a lung nodule, that can take him some time too. So if we say we've detected the lung nodule in image 5, 10, and 20, that's going to save him a significant amount of time. But in terms of that human machine learning partnership, he's also getting the ability to say that I agree with this. You know, it's not just them depending strictly on the AI over it's making a suggestion. If, if, if a person or a radiologist says, no, I do not agree, what happens? Does, does he benefits of any productivity improvement in that case? Or that's, that's like the, the, the type of case where actually the, the machine is introducing a delay in the process? Yeah, I mean, in that case, if, if he's uh, not agreed with the finding, um, that is pot potentially a delay. Um, the idea is, is that they agree most of the time. <laughs> and so, um, you know, there's lots of regulations with the FDA that need to be passed, clinical validation, radiologists who have reviewed this prior for it to even being sold. There's a much, much higher bar um, for the accuracy of algorithms in medical because of the FDA. Um, the algorithms are actually considered medical devices.